Good afternoon, Andy. Thank you for joining Lambs Media. Uh, second pre-season game against Kettering Town. What's your thoughts? Yeah, delighted. I thought it was a really good workout. Obviously, t- difficult conditions with the sun. Uh, hot, hot day. But as we said before the start, we, we could, this could be August the 6th, so we have to, you know, you got to go with it. Um, yeah, I thought in general it was pretty good. I thought we kept the ball quite well, defended quite well, kept a good shape. Um, we got a lot of minutes into a lot of the boys, so yeah, really pleased. Yeah, to mention minutes, um, four players, Alex Bradley, Carl Finn, Luke Fairlam and Jazz Single getting 90 minutes with us, getting some extra minutes. Yeah, I mean the plan last week was to get everyone 45 and to get some 60 and 70 this week and we've so we've got three games this week so by the end of it I'm hoping everyone's going to have got close to 90 minutes, certainly 60, 70 minutes and build it up. You know, we, want, we don't want to burn people out but we want people to be ready for the first game. Um, I'm conscious of the weather being so hot as well and I'm also conscious of the rule with the roll on roll off so you can't, so you can't make too many subs too early in yep. case you then get someone come off for whatever reason. I don't want to end up playing the game with 10 men which I, I don't think is a great rule to be fair. I think it's something that should be looked at because um, I wouldn't want to keep changing it. People don't want to come back on, but at the end, if Bales gets injured, it's better to put someone else on than up for 10 men. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But that's something else. That's something to think. But yeah, limited what we could do too early. But yeah, I think a lot of them got some good minutes and there was a lot of positives out of the game. It's a side team from a league boo. Perth, who've done well last year. I know they've got a bit of a rebuild. Um, but even so, there's some good players on show for them and I thought we were excellent. Just reflecting on the last few weeks over pre-season, are you and your management team happy where we're at currently? Yeah, really pleased. I think you know, we identified the areas we want to strengthen. Uh, we lost some players for various reasons, some because of us, some because they wanted to move on, uh, which happens in football, but we've kept quite a few of the group. Um, and we've identified the areas we say we wanted to strengthen. I think we've done that. I think we've brought some fantastic footballers into the club. It's up to us to gel them into a group now, which yeah. you know, I think we've started doing. I think training has been really good, so I was away myself, but I know with Shamps we've worked together a long time. I know I can trust him to run it when I'm not there. Uh, he did a fantastic job. Um, yeah, I think we're in a good place. Like I said, it's still early days, but we know we've got a lot of good players. We know over the years we're capable of getting teams that gel well, be organised, work hard, all the fundamentals of football. So, yeah, I think it's yeah good base. No, good. Um, obviously, second pre-season game and being at home in front of home supporters. Um, just a little glimpse of potentially what they might see from some players. Yeah, I'll say we've signed some good players. You know, you could see that today. Um, and I think they'll get better and better. Yep. Um, but yeah, I would, I would think most people who come today will be pleased with what they've seen. Um, I think, like I said, I'm, I'm more than happy with the squad we've got. Um, and hopefully the supporters will buy into what we're trying to do. So it's, it's going to be, you know, it's a long process. It's not going to just click straight away because there's been quite a change over even with me and Neil coming in. It's still an early days for us, really. Um, some new players coming in, but obviously some of those have worked with us before. They know what to expect. Um, and so the ones we've brought in, we've identified as being good characters as well as good players and, you know, buying into what we want to do. Um, I think that's, you know, showed straight away, really. No, then finally, um, Harbour Town on Tuesday, another match, really, for more minutes. Yeah, again, it's about mix and matching. You know, so I've got this week, I want to get as many minutes into players as I can. Yep. It will be slightly different, so it'll be a different sort of challenge against Harbour. They've got some good players, they got promoted last year, and mm-hmm. that'll be another really tough game. I know that. Um, it's not about results, but it is a good habit to keep winning. We said that in there. Yeah. You know, that's the mentality I want. I want us to win as many games as we can because it's a good habit. Uh, but like I say, paramount really is people going away today and make sure they got some out of it individually as well as collectively. You know, because it's you know they need to be up to speed come August the sixth for the first game because I want you know 16, 17 players with me who are fit to play and give me what they've got. No, brilliant. Um, we'll catch up with you on Tuesday. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you, mate.